Jim Davidson sees the funnier side of TV advertising. Commercial breakdown tonight at 10.35 on BBC One. A magnificent setting, two great teams, what drama here. And Seaman, what a magnificent save. Not good. Tuckle's got him. No way. Oh dear. Some people are on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. Come on. Hello, and welcome to They Think It's All Over. With David and Rory is the world's greatest ever darts player who thinks that darts can become an Olympic sport if only the players would give up alcohol. God, how pissed was he when he came up with that idea? <laughs> 11 times world champion Phil, the power tailor. With Phil and Jonathan is a footballing legend who, despite big money offers from Chelsea and Spurs, chose to spend his entire career at Southampton. It sets him apart from players in the modern game. He's skint. Matthew Letizia. <laughs> We start with a handbags question, David, Rory and Phil. It stokes other team for you. It's Port Vale. Here's the pottery, second-rate outfit, scrambling a fluky 2-1 win against mighty Forge United in a first-round replay of this season's FA Cup. And here is Staffordshire warbler, Robbie Williams. But the Vale faithful have recently fallen out with Robbie Williams, so why has the tattooist's friend and America's least wanted man fallen out with the cash strapped serial underachievers, David's team? I just say, Nick, it's great to have. I know he's a Port Vale man yeah, and you're a Stoke man, right. but it's great to have an 11 times world champion on the show. Fantastic. That is fantastic. That's not bad. We've got a lot of nicknames. We've got Phil the Power Taylor, we've got Phil. The cat, Tufnell, we've got David, whoops, the seaman. <laughs> Is it true you're called Phil the Power because you're the only bloke in Stoke with electricity? Phil, you didn't have difficult understanding, Nick, because he's from the posh part of Stoke. I know it's a funny idea, the posh part of Stoke. <laughs> <laughs> but Stoke has uh, been voted recently uh, the second fattest city in the UK. This is true, isn't yeah, it? It's absolutely true. You yeah. wouldn't think it from looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. No, seriously, I mean, the thing I mean, is, no, John, <laughs> Nick, you're on the Atkins diet, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Are you reading the book backwards or something? <laughs> But Stokes lucky, lucky during the Second World War, you know, it escaped Nazi bombing. Yeah. It did, because the Luftwaffe pilots looked down and said, oh, we're already done here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a question. Robbie Williams and the Port Vale. Well, Robbie's actually uh, wanted to invest money in building a new ground. Has he? So that did unsettle the... Yes. Oh, right. Unfortunately, he's in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> you ever played Port Vale? Have you ever played against Port Vale? I have, yeah. Yes, he did. A few times. And, and, and you was there, weren't you? <laughs> and we nearly won. What happened? You nearly <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Port Vale motto, we nearly won. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they did well, they got it to penalties, mate. Yeah, yeah you got it to penalties. And you yeah. saved two of them, didn't you? There you go, you know. Hey, those are the days, hey, Davis. Yeah, well, you <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Williams, he, he bought an executive box at Port Vale, didn't he? That's a box with a pizza in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's to do with money. They wanted money off Robbie. They did want money off Robbie, but that's not quite what we're looking for. Yeah, he's a Port Vale supporter, but didn't he buy, invest or hire or buy an executive box at Chelsea? He's Port Vale yeah. through yes. and through, except Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you three points, though. That's absolutely correct. Well done. In fact, the reason for the coolness is because Robbie Williams, a lifelong Port Vale fan, yeah. has shown just how much he loves the team by splashing out a reported 10 million quid on an executive box at Chelsea. <laughs> There's a selection of boxes available at Chelsea. The most popular box among fans is the pine one that Ken Bates is going to be buried in. <laughs> Port Vale are currently losing £500,000 a year. Their financial problem started when Phil Taylor went on a diet and stopped visiting the club pie shop. <laughs> Phil, Jonathan and Matt, it's a football question for you. Take a look at this. Here's Glory Hunter's favourites, Manchester United, coming from behind to beat Aston Villa in this year's FA Cup.
but a number of Manchester United old boys are appalled at the antics of some of the current crop of players. So what, in particular, has annoyed them? Bill's team? Before we talk about Man U, yeah. we have with us a footballing legend, as you quite rightly pointed do. out. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Letizia. Come yes, on. Indeed. 17 years with the same team, that really is quite something. Yeah, well, it's yeah, a bit different. You stayed yeah. at Southampton for so many years. Was it, yeah, I was liked it, it there. No because of the sailors, or what was it? What, what <laughs> was it? <laughs> I mean, it does speak well of his integrity, it does. of his sense of honour, yeah. and of having a lousy agent, I imagine. He's <laughs> <laughs> my hero. I, I based my whole training regime on Latisse. So he's a, 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 an underachiever as well, is he? <laughs> You've actually both got that slightly baffled look about yeah. you, haven't you? <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a great double act. Laurel and Laurel. <laughs> Do you ever get mistaken for each other? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I turned up at uh, Sky Sports, actually, uh, on the gatehouse and signing in the name, and the fellow picked up his phone in reception, uh, obviously talking to the department he was trying to get to, and went, yeah, I've got Phil Tufnell here for you. <laughs> <laughs> really? You've no, probably mate. got a higher batting average yeah. as well, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> I would have thought so. I would have thought so. No, that's not, that's not fair. Oh, that's not fair. So what do you think of young sportsmen generally? Because you're, you know, you are not, no longer a professional sportsman as such, but I mean, you I are think, older I in the think game. they're setting a very bad example, uh, if, you, if I'm perfectly honest. They don't gamble. <laughs> 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 they don't drink. They, don't, they train too much. Yeah. yeah. That's why there's so many injuries. <laughs> Matt, when did you give up the professional football? Um, <laughs> How long ago was it? 18 months ago. And 18? yes, I am still in training. Wow. Bloody so, you, so, you, so essentially you must have swapped Southampton FC for KFC. But I <laughs> like someone's pulled a ripcord on a dinghy, isn't it? <laughs> How big was the cake they gave you on your leaving part? <laughs> so it's uh, Manchester United. Yeah. yeah. And what was it? This bloke doesn't like them. Yeah. But no one likes Man U anymore, even the people actually who play for Man U. It's, it's like more me. a comment on young players by older pros. Is it to do with this thing with Alex Ferguson and the horse and the... Uh, Sperm. The stud, right? Sorry. Yeah, exactly. What um, is it? Because, because the they've got a horse and it's got... It's, it's, it's name is an R. It's 101 goals for him uh, now. Its name is uh, van, <laughs> Rude Van Nisselwey. Yeah. And they're selling the horse Rude Van Nisselwey sperm off for stud. <laughs> I saw it, I think, in the paper. No. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I've been thinking about be doing a bit of my own. I think it'd be worth a pretty. You think of the money you've left through your thing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it just because they're old and all old people are sort of pissed off with Everford? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not allowed to answer this because I was just told to turn up, do all for 25 minutes, and then answer a really good question at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit like your career, mate. <laughs> Is this Pampering. not something to do with um, if, if players have got problems or anything? Don't they, the Man United send someone around? Like if they break down with a puncher, they don't ring the air, they just ring the football club and they send someone out and fix it for them. Is the correct answer? Well, well done. done. Well done. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Absolutely true story. In fact, what enraged the old codgers is the existence of a 24-hour phone helpline to assist the pampered players with any problem they might encounter. And I do mean any problem. This is absolutely true. According to coach Brian McClare, none of the players can change a tyre on their cars. One wanted a leg sawn off an antique table, and another phoned up when his vacuum cleaner was full. <laughs> Brian McClare is one of the few socialists in football, although Alex Ferguson is also passionately committed to the redistribution of wealth, mainly from Irish horse owners to him. <laughs> There's no end to the pampering Man United stars can enjoy when Gary Neville's busy, he even has somebody to keep the candles lit around his special David Beckham love shrine. <laughs> Wayne Rooney also has a special number that he phones ten times a day and at the end of the call they always give him the same advice. Don't worry, if it's not there in 30 minutes, it's a pound off. <laughs> so at the end of that round, David's team have three points and Phil's team have three points. Okay, round two is photo fit. David's team, this one's for you. See if you can work out who's in there. There's something of, of a royalty about that face. Yes, Charles. Is it Jenny Bond coming out of the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it is has got a rather generous pubic wig. <laughs> That's a very bad Brazilian, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. It looks like Prince Philip in the middle. He's not sporting, is he? Does he do sports, Prince Philip? Yeah. Oh, he does field sports, oh, does doesn't he? Yeah. Was he? When you got your OBE, was he, um, was he there, Philip? OBE? 
Um, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> when you got your MB, was Philip there? No. Just the Queen? Just Her Majesty. What did she say to you? She said hello. <laughs> did you know who you were? She did, yeah. Because the, the guy stood next to her and told her. <laughs> oh, so, uh, say, it's who? A goalie? He did what? <laughs> Why didn't you stretch and tip the ball to safety over the bar? <laughs> Silly oaf. What about that chin? That looks, uh, <laughs> that's, that's not somebody's chin, surely. Look well, at let's the size hope it of is. That. What else could it be? Looks <laughs> 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 like a giant black pudding. <laughs> Oh, no. Yes, yeah, it does actually. But what is it in it? The I would say that chin. was either two people, it's either Peter Manley or Andy Fordham. Andy I'll go for together. Andy Fordham. Right. Mm -hmm. But you play darts, <laughs> don't you, David? Apparently, I do. Yeah. I'm not bad at all. How yeah. good are you? I've had 180 quite a few times. Have you? When? Oh, the World Cup. During the World Cup, David Seaman was playing darts. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> But you were saving your arms, weren't you, for the yeah. darts match? I oh, know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, David, we're going to practice tipping over the button. I'm just finishing this leg. Hold on. Have you ever played pub darts? Have you ever played yeah. in a pub? Yeah, I used to play in a pub team. What was that like? It was nerve wracking. <laughs> Do you think I might have to buy a round? <laughs> <laughs> that top, that head, mm -hmm. I've seen that from close quarters. Have you? That is Ronaldo. We've got Andy Fordham, right, Andy Fordham, Chris Philip, yeah. and that little fella named Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo yeah. You get three points. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> so that was the ill-judged wedge of overtooth striker Ronaldo, the eyes of serial pheasant bagger Prince Philip, and the multiple chins of the other darts world champion Andy Fordham. When he won the world title, there were huge chants of "There's only one Andy Fordham." Coincidentally, only one Andy Fordham is the sign in the lift at the lakeside Thurrock. <laughs> when Ronaldo joined Real Madrid, his nickname was Dodado, but they had to change it after scouser Steve McManaman strained his tongue, saying, "They do that, do Dodado, don't they, do?" <laughs> Ronaldo is being taught English by David Beckham. Asked what he'd learnt in his first lesson, Ronaldo said, I done amazing, he done amazing, the lad's done amazing. Stop phoning me, Gary, I'm teaching Ronaldo English. <laughs> Prince Philip is a renowned shooting enthusiast, but he doesn't get his gun out very often these days, just the start of the grass season, and whenever Princess Anne brings the dogs around. <laughs> Phil's team, here's your one. <laughs> Even though, you know, it's quite a preposterous looking thing, it's still not the most stupid haircut on the show, is it? David. <laughs> <laughs> that can't possibly be a hair. Is that a hair? It, it might be hair, it might not be hair. Be we don't say that it's definitely, it looks definitely like a, hair. One of those it? hats the soldiers wear, Busby's. It looks like a Busby that hasn't grown yet, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> is it a swimming cap? Mm, no. The eyes of Gerard Houllier, definitely. Correct. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you until you've guessed all three. The jaundiced oh. stare of Julio. That's not much of a quiz, is it, if I give you the answers and you know, sort of tell <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to we have to we've got to come back next week. <laughs> yeah, we do, we do this every week, Phil. This is the first time you've worked out the rules. Oh, sorry, OK. <laughs> all right. That's got to be a beard. What, on top of your head? Yeah. Have you had a beard on top of your head before? <laughs> <laughs> no. Probably, yeah. There was one stag party that I don't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I know that beard. It is a beard. W.G. Grace? No. No, I think that is Saeed Anwar's beard. Mm -hmm. The opening batsman for Pakistan. You've guessed two. So the mouth is... Jimmy God. White, maybe? Jimmy White. Jimmy White. Two uh, points. Let's have a look who they uh, are. Uh, what we saw there was the chin-strap beard of record-breaking Pakistani batsman Saeed yeah, Anwar, me. the who-are-you-looking at eyes of Liverpool boss Gerard Houllier, oh, and the trout-lipped smile of the world's second-best golfer Ernie Els. Ernie Els has controversially spoken out against women playing golf on the men's tour. He recently confronted one big-breasted beauty wolfing down a cream cake on the 16th tee, only to realise it was Colin Montgomery. <laughs> Although he had one thing right, it was Colin's 16th tee. <laughs> Saeed Anwar is deeply religious and says he reached a higher cosmic plane after 40 days of mystic seclusion. Phil manages to reach a higher cosmic plane in just two days, with a bong, in Amsterdam. <laughs> Pakistan cricket has been dogged by rumours of corruption, with claims that players deliberately underperformed. Accusations arose after batsmen ran themselves out, bowlers performed woefully, and most suspiciously of all, they nearly lost a match to England. <laughs> Since becoming Liverpool manager, Gerard Houllier has got more scouts. He lives in the area, he's picked up the accent, and this summer, he's going to be on the dole. <laughs> and at 
the end of that round, Phil's team have five points and David's team have six. OK, time now for Field the Sportsman, David and Rory. It's your turn first this week. If you'd like to take your position, to take your blindfolds with you. You will have a suitable amount of time to try... Is that really, really sticking to you, that rubber suit? It's getting a bit sticky. What, do you, to wash it, do you just go to a car wash and walk oh, through? <laughs> OK, can we have our first mystery guest, please? Your time starts now. <laughs> well, no, oh, hello, hello, what's else? this? Are we down here? Oh, hey, hey. oh what, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> what's it's a, that? It's a boat, I think. It's a, oh, it might be a car. It's a car. <laughs> it's a car. It's the new, <laughs> it's the new <laughs> Renault Papier Mache. <laughs> If it's a car, it's been hit by a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Ow! Yeah, it's on my foot, David! Shit! <laughs> 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 the other way now! <laughs> Put it on his foot again! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's that? Where's, where's it's the steering you. wheel? There's no steering Ooh, wheel. Hello? Aye, aye. There's a leg in here. <laughs> I've got a dismembered body in a car for us. <laughs> and that's not his steering no. wheel, Rory. Oh, no, I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> this is... Uh, I've missed that bit out. <laughs> Just don't do it. Oh, mm. it's, uh, it's one of those... Um, what they call cars? That the, um, the pedal car. Yeah. <laughs> pedal car. And so who's in it? The driver. Yes! <laughs> I'll give you the points for that. Darren Carter, British solo camel car champion, Darren Carter. <laughs> I thought that was a tough question, but you were up to it, David. Weren't you? <laughs> Phil and Jonathan, can you take your places, please? Right, a similar amount of time to work out who's between you. Unpick yourselves. <laughs> This is like stick, a, I tell you, it's sticking everywhere. You look like a gay humbug. <laughs> Can we have our second mystery guest, please? <laughs> Sticky. Okay. <laughs> and your time starts now. Thanks, Nick. Cheers. Get back! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's How happening? How can we get a gold cart and they get that? Look. What's going on? <laughs> Don't give them a hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got a fella here. Hold on. I've got a... Oh, it's... Oh, I've got a foot... <laughs> I've got Colin Montgomery. <laughs> I've got a lady. So have I, Ali. <laughs> no, I've, I've got a lady. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. She's not wearing a Oh, lot. no, I've got a tail. Oh, this is, is it wearing a... <laughs> is it semen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where to touch. Is it safe to touch? Is it all where to touch? Oh, I've got a... uh, Yeah, of course. Take your time, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you touching the same bloke as I am? I think... <laughs> I've where got a lady's you? bottom here. Yeah? I've got a bloke with a football. What wearing you patches, got? wearing pants, and nothing, hardly anything else. Oh, he's like got Christmas. his arm out. He's got his arm out. Oh, he's just got a vest on. Oh, what you got there? He's got, he's got two hands. <laughs> oh, no. Most people have got two hands. I've got, I've got, um, I've got, call, what is it? Is it Stevie Wonder? <laughs> hold it? on, hold on. Um, it's not the policeman that got George's um, vest, was it? We've got Jordan. It's got to be Jordan. Is it Jordan? Is it? Wait, wait, wait. We have Jordan. It must be Jordan. <laughs> Never you mind, I've got Jordan. <laughs> You're all right. You I've done my bit, you do your one. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know. well, sometimes it helps all things out, that's all. 
<laughs> well, was there another fella? Yeah, there's a bloke with a... Uh, uh, this, is, this is a footballer with a ponytail, could only be David... Well, it's not David. David Seaman, is it David Beckham? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, he's got uh, his hand out, is it? Who's that over there? Where's your one gone? <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's your one? Oh, where's your one? Oh, where's your one? Uh, it's David Beckham, because he said he... So, so, I'll give you that. It's a David Beckham and John lookalike. Oh. And Andy Harmer. Oh, Phil, that was classic. Wasn't that? It's like, it's like Jonathan Ross, 150 not out. Phil Tufnell did not bat. <laughs> I know you saw that pedal car earlier. Oh, I think it would be a shame to waste them. So, uh, we're going to have a little race, I think. Can you bring the pedal cars around, please? We're going to have a little bit of a race. <laughs> now, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Phil and Jonathan, <laughs> David and Roy, this is going to be a relay race, OK? So, we're going to have a Le Mans uh, running start and a tag changeover. You do two laps each, then you've got to come back, tag your partner, Partner goes round, does two laps each, and then we have the winner, OK? <laughs> Jonathan Rory, you're going to be first. Two laps, come back, tag your captains, then they do two laps, OK? Are you ready? We don't want to do this. Team get one bonus point. <laughs> so, at the end of that round, David's team have nine points and Phil's team have nine points. <laughs> well, we finish as ever with the name game. The team in front goes first, which is neither team, so we'll let oh. David's team go first. <laughs> Alphabetically. Well, Pass out to Rory, please, Phil. Uh, I can't breathe. I've not trained for four weeks. Man, <laughs> we're driving a pedal car. <laughs> <laughs> OK, your time starts now. Uh, enormous starts player. That doesn't narrow it down a lot. Fordham. Fordham. Uh, no, uh, he's got a funny foreign name. Uh, first name the same as the singer. The turkey-necked uh, <laughs> Peter Pan of pop. <laughs> Congratulations. Klofazrenko. Uh, very good. Oh, well done. Um, this is the uh, Arsenal's <laughs> record signing. Scored for Middlesbrough. Oh, Silvers, Arsenal. Or something. No. no. You can't remember his name. No, he's, I don't play for him anymore. <laughs> oh, I see. He's like, wiped the team from your mind. <laughs> Spanish for Kings. Reyes. Very Reyes. good, very Reyes. good, yeah. Joseph Anthony, that'll do. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't have that one. Go okay, boxing one. promoter. First Donkey. name. What? Donkey. No, no, uh, another one. His first name Funny is hair. the same as uh, a romantic poet. Percy Biss wrote Ozymandias. I'm wasting my time. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Liverpool centre half. Fit finish, very good indeed. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Albion gold bagger. Uh, you imagine an equine quadruped. Yeah. Which is a. <laughs> 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 
Gary, Gary Lineker, please come back. All right, Gary Lineker. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> It's, it's a farm animal. You ride on it. Jockeys ride on it. Horse. Yeah, and, and an enclosed uh, pen. You know, grass in it. You grow things. Stables. In nah. <laughs> you, know. you get them in the countryside. Um, but they're, they're, they're green and they have hedges around them. Fields, paddock. Yeah. So horse, field, West Brom player. Oh, yeah. Jeff. Jeff. Yes. Why didn't you say that then? Port Vale. Oh, man. Say it. Port Vale. <laughs> Port Vale manager. Brian Holton. Get it there. Oh, is he in the ex, ex Port Vale manager. Used to manage, manage Stoke. Oh, yeah. Um, a former Vale bot. <laughs> OK, you've got it to 13, so five. Five? Come, Come on. on. Surely. Five. Look, sis. <sighs> Matthew, pass those along, please. Come on, look. We're lucky we're still alive after that card, aren't we? Oh, it's amazing. It's almost finished us off. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, here we go. Touch us now. <laughs> OK, uh, when you want to phone someone, uh, British Telecom, you would shorten that name to? BT. Uh, first name is... James. There you go. Well done. James BT. Uh, all right, you know you get fruit pastels. This company yeah. make very nice ones. Wine gums. Fruit. First Wine name odds. is what you buy measurements of substances in. You buy Ounces, one... Ounces, grams. Oh, gram, 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 there you go. <laughs> all right. Uh, this, uh, his mum started the body shop, I think. His name, his second name is a tennis player. <laughs> Roddick. And first name is Andy. Mr. Pandy. Andy, well done. Nice. All right. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is that young golfing woman. Uh, first name is, you ask a question, you say, tell me... A story. Why? No, tell me why. <laughs> and first name is, uh, like the actress Collins and Pfeiffer. Pauline's. Joan. Not Pauline. No. Michelle. Michelle. Michelle Wyatt. Uh, OK, so but if there was a company and you shortened it, you would be... Inc. No, not Inc. That's in Company. 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 Co. And the first name is... Sebco. 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 All right. Um, this is a... This is a... I uh, think he plays for Chelsea. His second name is, is the driver for Lady Penelope. Parker. Paul Parker. Parker. Yeah, Scott okay. Parker. Scott Parker. Well, all right. At Christmas, this is the bird you have if you're not a vegetarian, and we respect that choice. But if you are <laughs> a meat eater, no, not a goose. A goose at Christmas. <laughs> it's a turkey. A turkey. Okay. And the first name is when I don't talk quiety, I talk shouty. No, and it's a bit like that. <laughs> loudly. Loudly. Loudy. Well done. Loudy. Okay. All right. Loudy turkey. Oh, good lord. All right. <laughs> this bloke. Our first name is he's a strong man. He doesn't want you to cut his hair. Not David Seaman. Lazarus. Samson. Not Lazarus. <laughs> Lazarus came back from the dead. <laughs> Samson. Right. Samson. Samson. Oh. Well. oh. Yeah, At the end of that, David's team have 13, but this week's winner is Phil's team with 16. <laughs> So, thanks to David, Rory and Phil, Phil, Jonathan and Matt. My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. It's a huge sporting weekend here on BBC One. The Six Nations kick off tomorrow with France versus Ireland at two and Wales versus Scotland at four. And then at 5.25, it's live FA Cup action as Sunderland take on Birmingham in the fifth round. All here on BBC One. Fancy yourself a sports writer? Check out our competition, bbc.co.uk slash five live.